What's up everybody, it's Indigenous Realist the Realist. Today I'm gonna be bringing a video called The Five Steps to Astral Projection. Now the reason why I'm bringing this video is because I made another video called Astral Projection which you can check out, it's still on my channel. And um, a lot of people have asked me to make a follow-up video on how to actually astral project. And so this is what that video is gonna be. And the first step, the first step we're going to have is position. Now, position. When I say position, I mean, wait, 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 I'm going in too fast. Let me tell you the five steps. The first step is position. The second step is going to be breathing. The third step is going to be the intention. The fourth step is going to be the visualization. And the fifth step is going to be action. Okay, so all right, step one, step one, position. Now, the position that you would want to get in is laying flat on your back. But first of all, I should say this. Me, astral projection works first, works best when I'm totally sleep deprived, like when I haven't slept at all. You get what I'm saying? Like when I'm sleep deprived, for some reason, I can tap into, I can tap into, greater things going on in my mind in the spiritual realm and everything through sleep deprivation all right so the position is laying back on your back flat down you can put a pillow behind your head if you want but the best position is flat on your back preferably with a pillow behind your head and all right so that's the first step position the second step we're going to have is breathing now you're breathing you want to breathe deeply deeply slowly and you want to use you want to use color this isn't the visualization that i'm talking about you want to use color visualization during your breathing techniques and why do i say that because my favorite my favorite uh, meditation is through breathing i've talked about this before in my other videos where i say meditation through breathing technique is the best and so anyway, I imagine a, a friendly color that I like coming in, which is green, because I look at green as a cover, color for life. So green coming in, deep breath, out with red, because I consider red to be something like bloodshed, to be anger, to be a stop sign. And if you know, stop, to actually stop moving is to, to die. So I, I believe movement is progressive so that's where the green comes in green means go red means stop so red is a bad color to me so i visualize green coming in and red coming out you want to get deep breath deep breathing so you have a rhythmic breathing you get what i'm saying it's a process but if you've ever done meditation you know the breathing techniques i'm talking about all right number three is going to be intention step three is intention you have to make a conscious intention to uh, stay awake. But at the same time, your your conscious intention to send your body to sleep. Now, that might sound crazy to some people. Like, what is this dude talking about? How are you going to make a conscious decision to stay awake? But at the same time, you're making a conscious uh, decision to put your body to sleep. And I'm going to tell you this because... Your mind, which is not your brain. You get what I'm saying? For every for every physical thing you have in your body, you have a spiritual part of that. So your spiritual of your brain would be your mind. You get what I'm saying? Your mind, your mind sets the intention to stay awake, to stay awoke. Because if y'all ever hear me, I always say, I don't sleep. And by that meaning... I don't sleep because my mind is always conscious. It's always continuously going. So even if my body is asleep, everybody knows their body needs sleep. Your mind does not have to go to sleep. And that's a key point in astral projection. So uh, my bad, y'all, I'm nervous. If y'all if y'all familiar with my videos, I usually don't do them face to face because it feels odd. But hey, we're going to keep going with it. So your intention to put the body to sleep. See, while you're rhythmic breathing, your body is going to automatically, your heart rate is going to slow down. You're, um, you're going to start getting drowsy because I use meditation to put myself to sleep 
whether I'm trying to astral project or not. So for those having sleeping problems, you don't have to take medication. You can use this breathing technique just to go to sleep. And I bet a lot of people are going to breathe themselves to sleep attempting this process. Now, I know there's other processes that other people teach, and I'm unfamiliar with those. And I am familiar with other processes, but this is the one that works best for me. And that's, so we're on step three, right? Oh, we're on step two. No, we're on step three. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Step three, the breathing. So, wait a second. I'm lost. Step three, the intention. So, as you as you set your intention, it's just like setting it. I mean, people may not know what intention means, so I'll explain it. The intention, that's setting an intent to stay awake. You get what I'm saying? Like, no matter how tired your body is, your mind is going to stay awake and be a silent observer, to be an active observer. Y'all follow me? Um, step four, visualization. So the place where you're laying at, I know it's probably going to be your bed or in a room or maybe on the floor. Like, it doesn't matter. Can you visualize? You have to close your eyes and actually visualize everything around you. Can you do that? Like visualize, start it off with yourself. Visualize how your body looks. Visualize how you're uh, laying on a bed. Visualize the color of your blankets. Visualize everything in the room. Start off with your immediate area and work your way out. Like so, after you visualize the room, start visualizing everything in the house. Visualize the street. Visualize, get your visualization up. Because that's, when, that, that's a key part. I can't stress that enough. That's a key part to visualization. But anyway, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. Um, step five would be the action. So while you're, while you're already going through the steps, first one, position. So you've laid back. Step two with the breathing. So you already got your rhythmic breathing. And eventually while, while you're going through the other steps, you'll forget that you're breathing. You get what I'm saying? Because it's something unconsciously. And that's putting your body to sleep. You get what I'm saying? But your mind is still awake. But you can you breathe all the time without knowing you're breathing. You get what I'm saying? And it's just about changing your body to a rhythmic breathing. All right, step three, the intention. You already know your intention. You said it. You want to go to sleep in the body. But you want to stay awoke and conscious in the mind. You get what I'm saying? Step four, the visualization. So now you know your surroundings. Your eyes are closed, but you know exactly what everything is. You're visualizing the colors coming in and out. You're visualizing your body. You're visualizing yourself sleep. Now, in the step five is the action. So while you're, while you're laying there doing all these steps, you will actually start feeling like a shudder. And y'all know what I'm talking about. When you're very sleepy, but trying to keep yourself awake, you shudder. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? It's almost like a vibration. Your body like. You get what I'm saying? And for me, it's as simple as when I don't sleep on my back, which I seldom do, I only, I only, I only lay flat on my back when I'm trying to astral project consciously. And so therefore, when you're not trying to astral project and you've already done it a bunch, when you're sleeping in a di different position, Anytime you try to fall asleep, you will feel the shudders. But for those new to astral projection, just think about when you're super sleepy but trying to keep yourself woke. And it's a jolt. That jolt, that's a better word. Instead of shudder, we'll use jolt. That jolt your body gives you is your astral body actually trying to shake up out of your physical body. And people don't know it. You get what I'm saying? But that's what that is. And, um, okay, so... Now you, now you know the shutter, so the action will be, you've already set your intent, you've already visualized, you're doing your breathing, you're already in position. Now the action will be to actually tell yourself to sit up. But think about it. Your, your mind is what's conscious now. You get what I'm saying? And your astral form is what's giving you the jolt. Your astral form is already giving you the jolt, the shutter. You get what I'm saying? And so when you tell yourself to sit up, when you tell yourself to sit up, you will do it. And when you do it, you'll know that you're astral projecting. 
You get what I'm saying? I hate to make it sound so simple, but it's really so simple. I hate to make it sound so simple, y'all, but it's really so simple. All you have to do, and I'm going to take you through the steps one more time. Step one, the position. Step two, the breathing. Step three, the, um, the intention. Step four, visualization. And step five, the action. And I hope everybody can get that. Anyway, I'm Indigenous Realist, the Realist. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. If you have any questions, if y'all need a further video, or let me know if it works for you. Let me know if you recognize the shudder, the joke. Let me know if you have sleep paralysis, because that's a telltale sign if you're a natural astral projector, whether people know it or not. Sleep paralysis is actually your astral body warring with your, with your physical body. That's your mind being awake while your body is asleep. And we'll go into that more. We'll go into that more on another video. Anyway, I'm indigenous realist to realist. I'm gone. Please like, comment down below. Let me know how this worked for you. I'm gone.